The Utah Jazz game the other night against the Rockets had me thinking. How does Will Hardy set up Larry Markkinen to be one of the best scorers in the NBA off the ball? I mean, seriously, he's second in the league in points per possession in the half court, and half the time he isn't even creating by himself. And I didn't think this would unlock his game, as he's not really much of a self-creator and he only camped on the wing. But that changed. Coming into the season, I wasn't necessarily high on Markkinen. Not because I thought he was bad necessarily, but he was not a good defender and he still is not the best defender in the world. And neither is he necessarily a good passer. But we all knew his offensive prowess through scoring and shooting. And he was used as a spot up shooter in Chicago and Cleveland. But in Utah, they completely changed. Right here, he's on the perimeter and he's getting a screen action off of Jordan Clarkson getting the screen from Kelly Olynyk. And once he gets the ball, he attacks the close on David Roddy and just goes up for the nice reverse. It's those little actions that Larry Markkinen was never able to do in any other situation that he was in. But what happens? He gets traded to Utah. He gets traded to a team with a competent coach that knows how to maximize his abilities. And he's been doing that perfectly for Larry. And Will Hardy's been just doing a great job all season for the team. And I just want to show this because this is a grown man doing this to another grown man. And what makes Larry Markkinen dynamic is his movement for his height. Right here is a secondary trailer, he's going to get the ball and hit Russell Westbrook with a good spin and gets back to his same pocket and just goes up for the nice lay for the contact. Duh, this nigga's crazy, hold on, watch this shit bro. <laughs> oh my god. And then he has actions himself as a pick and roll ball handler and just hits tough shots like this. So it sounds cute right now, but I'm being so for real, what is Larry Markkinen doing right now that's surprising people? And it starts off with stuff like this right here. In the last 12 games, he's averaging 31.2 points per 75 on 71.4 true shooting percentage, which is crazy. And then so far this season with his other efficiency stats, 1.53 points per shot, which is in the 94th percentile, 1.2 points per possession, which is in the 98th percentile, again, that's nuts, 1.7 points over expectation, which is in the 96th percentile, 1.3 transition points per possession, which is in the 97th percentile, 1.27 spot up points per possession, which is in the 100th percentile, and to round off, 1.07 isolation points per possession, which is in the 100th percentile as well. So with that right there, that makes Larry Marketing an efficiency god, right? Yeah, I think he's an efficiency god for sure. And yes, half of it is fake shooting. Like, let's not get it twisted. The shooting variance that he has is kind of crazy. But also, some of it is real, and I think it's here to stay, especially a lot of the off-ball stuff. And I want to start off with transition because he's one of the best transition players in the league. 1.3 transition points per possession is crazy. Again, that's the 97th percentile in the NBA, and a lot of this is given to Markinen's ability to be a really good trailer. He's already breaking, and THC hits him with the outlet. He's going to come up on Ja'Shawn Tate and him with a little stutter, and it does look like a travel here, but again, that length by marking is just a little different. Pause. And he hits him with a nice little left delay. This is pretty tactical transition stuff for a 7-footer. Not usually the best ball handlers, but they're able to hit you with an array of moves, and they're also able to go ahead and try to break down a defense with their size. Giannis, Pascal Siakam, and Ben Simmons are guys who do this a lot. Lowry is also a good cutter and knows how to put himself in position a lot. And he's a super dynamic off-ball player, as most of his scoring is actually off of zero dribbles or one dribble max. And again, it's tactical basketball every single time. It's tactical basketball. Right here against the Suns, for example. Clarkson's going to go ahead and take this like weird floater off of one leg. And Lowry right here seals his defender so he won't get the rebound. And since he's much bigger and just much more potent, he's going to go ahead and get the putback. Simple, tactical basketball right there. Again, right here, seals off Austin Reeves, and this is going to go ahead and get the putback. And as a cutter, Larry Markkinen is a great cutter. While he only does do it 9% of the game, he's still averaging 1.28 points per possession on cuts. It's very simple stuff, but it's what makes him a really good player, and it boosts his scoring a ton. And right here, he knows this Santi Aldama is ball watching and just cuts. And the Utah Jazz have a lot of actions like this, and Larry Markin is usually going to be the one getting the ball at the end of the day. And as you see, Jordan Clarkson is going to go ahead and try to get the ball from Mike Conley initiating, but instead it leaves a wide open miss rotation by Booker, and Markin just gets the easiest points you'll ever see. Here's some more screen actions for the hell of it. And Gobert just gets caught ball watching and gets beat, and Markin gets easy points once again. And a lot of his points just comes off of off-ball motion, like it's 
very simple basketball. Like, it's nothing crazy at all. And he yanked it on this nigga Jalen. I like this nigga Lari. He dropped 49, which would be his career high against the Rockets the other night. And he showed a little bit of everything in his game. Here's an off-ball action where Lari Markkinen just goes ahead and gets to thrive. And gets a nice little shot over EG. And then you have the classical Lari Markkinen pick and pop, which is pretty effective against most teams. And his transition stuff is very, very real. Like, the shooting's fake, but this is definitely staying along for sure. This time, Clarkson and Markkinen run a pick and roll action, which goes ahead and steps up Lari for the lob. And then Lowry goes off for the double screen to set his own screen on KPJ. Mike Conley throws a little bit of a long pocket pass, but Lowry just goes ahead and sets up for the perfect dunk. Again, another action that starts off on the corner, which Lowry cuts, and then gets a nice little tough floater. Tactical buckets, man. Tactical buckets. I mean, I know it wasn't 50, but this is like the easiest 50 piece someone could drop. And yes, it's against like one of the worst defenses in the league and like the worst offense. But even then, like, I don't care who it's against. Like, these are tactical buckets that we're getting here. All in all, do I think that 25 points per game on 67% true shooting from Larry Markkinen is real? No, he's going through an insane shooting slump right now, but I do think the cutting is real, the transition scoring is real, and the off-ball like movement shooting is also real from Larry Markkinen. He is a legit play finisher, he's a legit lob threat, and he is a legit popper, and he's shown that in Chicago and in Cleveland. But in Utah, he's been able to go ahead and play a role that is different every single night. There's nights where he's going to be the primary guy, and then there's nights where he's just going to get easy buckets because the defense does not know how to stop him off the ball. Definitely the front runner for MIP, like no question. And I doubted Lowry coming into the season, and I will take back half of what I say. But also, I do think this is a crazy slump, and the shooting variance is a little fake. But it's also here to stay at the same time, and his defense is okay it's a slight positive he's still not a good passer but it's also okay i guess if he's still doing what he's doing right now hey take it for what it is you would love that he's easily an all-star right now top 35 ish player in the league right now take it for what it is so uh yeah larry marketing i apologize I, I sincerely apologize this man's an efficiency god he's been good this season unfortunately so uh yeah appreciate y'all for watching